What's up guys, today we're going to go over the Tinker's Construct Armory, so specifically how to make the armor, some of the materials that you can use, and the modifiers. So with that, let's jump right in. Alright, so first things first, we want to create the armory bench, uh, the armor equivalent of this. So you do that by taking uh, four blank patterns, which I'll make, didn't need that many, and a crafting table. And you do this, and you put four blank patterns like that, and you'll make the armor station. Um, it doesn't really matter where you put this, I just put it, you know, on the, on the side here. Um... This is how you make and modify your armor. So it's the same exact thing as the tool station, but for armor. Um, the way you make the patterns is the same way as this, in the stencil table. The specific ones you'll want are the armor trim. You're going to want the plates, armor plates. And then you want the four things that correspond to the armor. So the head, chest plate, legs, and feet. All right, so now that we have our stencils, uh, we go over to the part builder, the same one that we use for the tools, and we can make the parts just like normal. Um, also, just like normal, if we want to make the, say, the chest plate out of um, a metal, we're going to have to make one of these first in order to make a cast. Um, so I'll do that. I'll make a chest plate out of, like, Invar or something. Um, you know, so chest plate, let's actually start that process now. So if you don't already know, making a cast, you take two gold ingots, you put the object, it doesn't matter what the material is, but put the object in a blank uh, table here, and then you pour the gold over it, and it will destroy whatever you put in there, so be careful. Um, don't put like don't put something that's really expensive in there. Um, you can use wood, you can use stone, doesn't matter. We click on the gold, put it to the bottom, and then we can make a cast like that. Um, let's do Invar. I, I just happen to have a bunch of Invar in here from the last video. So we have our chest plate classed. Now we can make an Invar chest plate, and this will take a hot minute. It will take forever to cool off. So, the other parts that we need are armor trim, and let's make it a stone, and the armor plates. And you need a trim and a plates for each piece. So this is just for the chest plate. Uh, for the helmet, we'll need another set of trim and plates, in the same as the boots and the leggings. Um... We can take a look at the materials. So just like there were materials um, in the book for the tools, we have it for the armor as well. And it's going to be different. So definitely take a look at it. It's not going to be the same as the tools are. Um, so like some examples are, you know, electrical steel um, gives you lightweight, which makes you move faster um, as if you were like sprinting. Uh, this is amphibious or ambitious. Sorry, not amphibious, um, which means you gain additional XP. Uh, you know, you have alien, magnetic, some of them are a little bit more convoluted. Uh, you know, like Ender Port's not as straightforward. Alien's also not as straightforward. Um, but most of them are pretty straightforward. Like, you know, Lightweight makes sense. Um, let's see, Cheap makes more or less sense. Uh, but a lot of them just require a lot of testing. Uh, my favorite are the same as my tools. I like using paper for the writable. I like using Magic Wood also for the writable. And then generally what I do is I use Manulin for the core because um, I like the Vengeful. Prideful is also very good, so sometimes I'll trade in the paper for a Manulin, one of these two things, for the Prideful bonus. Um, but it really just is up to you. Um, and, you know, there's a lot of them. I'm not going to go over all of them because there's, like, an actual huge amount of them. Um, but, yeah, just like the tools, you can customize it however you like. Uh, the modifiers of the, not the modifiers, but like these don't stack with each other. So if I used all three of these ones, I don't get Prosperous 3, I just get Prosperous 1. So definitely mix and match to, you know, maximize your stats there. So now that we have our Invar chest plate, we go into here in our new armor station. We put the chest plate in here and here and here. And you click this button up here for whatever you want to do. And now we can make our chest plate. Um, of course, I'd probably want to use something better than stone, but it gets the the point across. So now we have our chest plate and then we can modify it however we would like. Um, so let's say we want to make it us faster. We can add a redstone to it and this is under modifiers. So just like the tools, there's a modifier page and it will tell you what everything does. So redstone, it makes you faster. Um, so if I do this, <laughs> right, I totally forgot about that. Okay. So the armor station only lets you build the armor. Um, you know, this, this wooden armor station. It only lets you build the armor. It doesn't let you modify it. It's telling us to build a armor forge. And in order to do that, what you do 
is you take your armor station and you put it in the middle. You do three seared bricks and then you take any, basically any block of metal of your choosing. Iron's the cheapest, but we do them on the sides there and it will make an armor forge. Um, and the reason I say it can be any of your choosing is you can do like, you know, gold, for example. And it will make a gold one. Um, if you want to know which ones it can do, you can just look up armor in the list here. And it will have a bunch of them in the page and you can see which one uh, you want to do. I think gold looks pretty cool. So let's actually do that. Um, but yeah, these are all your options here. So we place down our armor forge. The armor forge lets you do everything that the armor station could do. So you don't need to have both. And now we can add modifiers. So this lets us go faster. Um, you know, so if I do this, it'll make us faster. A little hard to see. Um, here, in fact, let's actually make it a little bit more pronounced. Game. <laughs> Mod pack moment. Sometimes you just lag randomly. Okay. Yeah, let's put more redstone on this baby. All right. So I also went and made uh, the other armor pieces also with 15% movement speed. So theoretically, I should be 60% faster. Um, you know, so this is how fast we are normally. Um, if I'm not hopping, then it's that fast. If I do it, all of them, you can see I'm significantly faster here. Um, when you are faster like this with armor, it's easier to not bunny hop because you can see that it actually slows you down, right? Um, if I went and made the armor out of a lightweight material too, you could be even faster, which I think cobalt is one of them. Uh, yeah, cobalt is one of them for the trim and the plates. I thought there was also, there's also one for the head as well, or the core rather. Um, something, something that I thought was easier to get because some of them are very difficult. Ooh, there is electrical steel. It's all right. It's all right to get. Not like super early game. Um, but yeah, if we make like one out of cobalt, which I'll do real fast, then we should be a lot faster. All right, I went and made a cobalt plating and trim um, armor set with manual and core, just for vengeful. Um, and, you know, this is how fast we are with the normal, just just redstone speed bonus. Um, this is how fast we are with the lightweight cobalt bonus. Um, a small difference, but one that's very, very noticeable. Um, you know, so it's very up to you how you want to mix and match. This obviously gives you a lot less defense because now it's just lightweight and it's not doing anything else. Um, versus other slower armor might end up being a lot more uh, tanky. Like one of the ones that I really like doing is I do manulin for both the core and the plates or trim or whatever. Um, I think I usually do the plates because you get vengeful because then your attackers, uh, you know, they they do less damage and they get hurt when they attack you. And then prideful means that you're also more strong after you get attacked. So the longer fights go on, the more you can fight back. Um, and then for the trim, I generally do something else. I think I do paper a lot because then you get the extra modifier slot, which you can then use for, um, you know, either redstone or one of the ones that makes you more tanky. And I just like having the malleability that rideable gives you. Um, but I would say just mix and match as much as you can. You can also have obviously more than one armor set for different situations. So you can have like an exploring armor set that makes you really fast like this. You can have one for fighting. You can have one for, you know, other things. Uh, but otherwise, I think that's it. All right, guys, that'll be it for this episode. Let me know down in the comments if you have any uh, extra questions or suggestions. I hope you have a wonderful day, and I'll see you next time.